Carolina is a better institution, university, and also a better basketball program. But the, the, the reputation of Duke is old. It's uh, dusty. It's uh, uh, antiquated. It's dinosauric. <laughs> <laughs> Number one Nike school. We have a better basketball program. Uh, we have great history with what our school. Nike also, school? we have what an is that? we have an we have an academic Sounds like an AAU program. Yeah, our academic profile is just higher than there. So we're not, we're just we're elitist. Elitist. Those yeah. are good word. Elitist. Academically, we're a better school. Right higher than right now. Wrong. How you figure? Those ratings. I mean, it's oh. 10, 15. It doesn't matter. Go. Huh? Carolina has been a great school since 1796. Duke's history doesn't go that long. Exactly. Yeah, and so it's like <laughs> Duke's the seventh best school yeah, and Carolina's yeah. the 12th best school. It's the, the legend, the tradition, the history. <sighs> Carolina has so much more over Duke University. It's incredible. Just because there you have more little, students, yes. yes. And you have more programs, more doctorates, more master programs. You have, you have, you more. have more, but more doesn't mean, doesn't mean better. The people in Carolina... The one that they have a choice between Duke and Carolina, where do they go? First of all, ninety-five percent of the when students. Ninety-five percent of the students have a Duke choice. Out of state. When they want, yeah, when they have a choice because you might not be able to get into Duke. Like you have real requirements to get into Carolina. You just have to have a college. I mean, a high school um, diploma. And if you're from from North Carolina, you might be cool. Backing up, Dante, you're a free agent last summer. Why did you select a team coached by a North Carolina alum? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't use that as a um, as a factor in selecting the team. That I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about basketball now. But now that we go back to comparing schools, I just went to a better school. Dante's the first Duke player you've ever coached. Why did you allow Nuggets management <laughs> to sign a Duke player this past summer? Tour? See now you're just starting trouble. <laughs> well, That's I checked with up. Carolina, and and Dante deep down inside knows this. <laughs> <laughs> that he wanted to go to Carolina and it requested to go to Carolina, but Carolina didn't have any scholarships the year he was transferring. Correct? I plead the fifth. <laughs> the truth of the matter is Duke is a, a great pro, a, a, a very good program. <laughs> <laughs> you said it right the first time, Coach. And, they, and, and they're border on great. This is obviously the best rivalry in college basketball, is it not? Yes, it is. Why? Because two great schools, two great programs playing against each other. So, And we're right down the street from each other. And mo most of the time, they recruit the same players. Mm -hmm. Best I mean, rivalry in college basketball? I don't think there's anything close right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been that way for going on 30 years. My senior year, I ran on the court. They bombarded me with about 25 hot dogs. Mm. <laughs> that was good. Because you were a hot dog. I, I, you know, I was kind of pushing the limit of, I don't know, then today it would be a trash talk, and I was confrontational on the court. Mm. Um, and I liked Carolina to the point where it was flaunted to a fault at times. He got killed, man. <laughs> he was a double major before the NCAA had real regulations and what they could and could not do to, to student athletes. So hey, I, I had back surgery course. my freshman year and I went to summer school and realized that uh, Summer school was the best way to go to class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Summer school was A's, and you didn't have to go to class a lot. <laughs>